Hi, it's Craig the Hot Tub Service Tech again, and uh, we're talking about water chemistry. This video talks about sanitizers. Uh, there's many different types of sanitizers you can use in a spa. You can use chlorine, you can use bromine, you can use Baqua Spa, you can use the frog system. Um, I tend to use the chlorinated granular because nobody in my family has a chlorine sensitivity. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Um, the chlorine granular you want to use for hot tubs is called sodium dichlor. Um, I mention that because there's a lot of people who go and they find this big giant bucket of chlorine granular and it's designed for swimming pools and they get it for their hot tub and um, that chlorine is actually calcium hypochlorite. So if you worked like crazy, like I mentioned in the last video of getting your alkalinity and pH down uh, to the okay range and then you're using a calcium based uh, chlorine, you're just skyrocketing that right back up so the granular chlorine that you want to use is the sodium dichlor and um, the, there are many different ways that you can sanitize your spa if you ask four different people in the business how to sanitize they'll give you four different uh, methods my method is pretty simple I add a heaping tablespoon for a spa this size a heaping tablespoon at the beginning of the week like on a Monday or Tuesday then I do it again on like a Friday or Saturday at the end of the week. What this does is it keeps my spa at a very low level chlorine level, always kind of somewhere down here in the pale purples on the test strip. Um, that's bare minimum, even if I don't use the spa. And uh, that's going to keep the spa sanitized and fresh week after week after week. Now, of course, the more you use the spa, uh, the more chlorine you want to add, the less you use your spa, the less chlorine you want to add. So this is my method. In addition to those two doses at the beginning and the end of the week, if I happen to use the spa, when I get out, I add an additional heaping teaspoon of chlorine. And what this does is this adds a supplements a little bit extra. So if I just get out of the spa and don't add anything, what happens is I take that chlorine residual and I bottom it out. By adding a heaping teaspoon when I get out, it uh, supplements, and so the next day I'm still uh, maintaining a chlorine residual. So, and that works with my ever fluctuating use of the spa. I mean, trust me, sometimes I'm in my spa two or three times a week. Sometimes I'm lucky if I'm in my spa once a month. So, in addition to that uh, dose at the beginning of the week and the end of the week, if I add an additional dose when I get out, that works with my ever changing uh, use of the spa. Um, the second part of a sanitizer system, whether you're on granular chlorine or even granular bromine or uh, some other systems, is to do a weekly oxidizer. Uh, this spa shock is an oxidizer. It's potassium peroxymonosulfate, and this is why you want to use that once a week. If you keep putting chlorine on top of chlorine on top of chlorine in your tub, what's happening is your chlorine, it's doing its job. Um, but it's becoming inactive. Your spa is starting to get bogged down with inactive chlorine. And when this happens, um, it's two things happen. One, it starts to get really hard for you to maintain a chlorine residual because your spa is so loaded up with inactive chlorine. Another thing that happens is um, you get this overwhelming chlorine smell. And then you go and dip a test strip in and you're barely reading anything on the test strip. Sometimes you're reading nothing, but you're getting that overwhelming chlorine smell. Um, when this happens, you're probably in chlorine lock. So by using a weekly dose of the oxidizer and running the jets for at least 10 minutes, you are heavily oxidizing that water and freeing up the water of its old used inactive chlorine. That leaves your water free and open to accept new chlorine. Um, so in addition to the chlorine and the shock, on the other video I was talking about the uh, pH levels um, and the importance about getting your pH down into this okay range. If your pH is way high, your chlorine is only about one third as effective. So, um, along with the, all the other reasons in the other video uh, about why it's important to get your alkalinity and pH down into this okay range and keep it in this okay range, this keeps your chlorine more effective when your alkalinity and pH are balanced. So, that is chlorine uh, part of sanitizer. 
I hope you learned something, and if you did, give me a like. Thanks for watching.